In the realm of ancient philosophy, few voices resonate as profoundly as that of Seneca the Younger, a Stoic philosopher whose wisdom transcends time. Among his many teachings, one particular quote stands out for its poignant imagery and timeless relevance. Anger is like a falling rock which breaks itself to pieces upon the very thing it crushes. In these few words, Seneca encapsulates the destructive nature of anger and the profound impact it has on both the individual who carries it and those around them. At first glance, Seneca's analogy may seem simple, but its depth becomes apparent upon closer examination. Picture a massive rock hurtling towards the ground, propelled by the force of gravity. As it descends, it gathers momentum, becoming an unstoppable force of destruction. Yet, in its descent, the rock does not discriminate. It shatters indiscriminately upon impact, wreaking havoc on everything in its path, including itself. Similarly, Seneca suggests that anger, like the falling rock, ultimately inflicts harm not only on its target but also on the one who yields to its destructive power. One of the most striking aspects of Seneca's analogy is its universality. Regardless of time, culture, or circumstance, the destructive consequences of anger remain constant. Whether in ancient Rome or modern-day society, the ramifications of unchecked anger reverberate through human interactions, leaving behind a trail of broken relationships and shattered lives. Indeed, Seneca's insight serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of tempering our emotions and cultivating inner peace. But why is anger so inherently destructive? Seneca offers us a profound insight into the nature of this powerful emotion. Unlike other emotions, which may arise spontaneously in response to external stimuli, anger is often a product of our own internal judgments and perceptions. It is born out of a sense of injustice or injury, real or perceived, and fueled by a desire for retribution or vindication. In essence, anger is a manifestation of our ego, our primal instinct to defend ourselves against perceived threats to our well-being or dignity. However, Seneca warns us that yielding to anger only serves to perpetuate the cycle of harm. Like the falling rock, anger may temporarily satisfy our desire for retaliation, but it ultimately leaves us depleted and diminished. In the heat of the moment, we may lash out in rage, oblivious to the collateral damage we inflict upon ourselves and others. Our words become weapons, our actions fueled by blind fury, and in the end, we find ourselves isolated and alone, surrounded by the rubble of our own making. Moreover, Seneca reminds us that anger is a self-destructive force, consuming us from within like a raging inferno. Just as the falling rock breaks itself to pieces upon impact, so too does anger fracture our inner peace and corrode our well-being. The physiological and psychological toll of anger is well documented, from increased heart rate and blood pressure to impaired judgment and decision-making. Over time, chronic anger can lead to a host of health problems, including cardiovascular disease, depression, and anxiety. In light of these sobering realities, Seneca offers us a path forward, rooted in the principles of Stoic philosophy. Central to Stoicism is the idea that we have the power to choose our response to external events, regardless of their nature. While we may not always control the circumstances that provoke our anger, we do have control over how we choose to react. Instead of succumbing to anger's destructive allure, Seneca encourages us to cultivate a sense of inner tranquility and equanimity. For Seneca, this inner peace is not merely a state of passive acceptance, but an active practice rooted in reason and self-discipline. He teaches us to pause and reflect before reacting impulsively, to examine the source of our anger with a critical eye, and to respond with compassion and understanding rather than retaliation. In doing so, we reclaim our agency and liberate ourselves from the chains of anger's tyranny. In conclusion, Seneca's timeless wisdom reminds us of the destructive power of anger and the importance of mastering our emotions. Like a falling rock, anger may offer a fleeting sense of satisfaction, but its consequences are far-reaching and profound. By cultivating inner peace and practicing restraint, we can break free from anger's grip and embrace a life of greater fulfillment and serenity. As Seneca himself observed, 
no man was ever wise by chance. It is through deliberate effort and introspection that we may find true wisdom and transcend the destructive cycles of anger.